Hello everyone, or cozy fairies, either one, if you're new or not new here. Um, I'm like so tired because it's like raining outside and quarantine's making me tired. Oh my god, my voice. Or if you're new, hello, welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple GFX button intro form. Basically, um, an animated intro. I've been getting a request about this, and by the way, you can make an animated intro on devices, but you cannot download Blender. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so first you would like to open up Roblox Studio. I'll leave the link of Roblox Studio down below, so if you guys want to download it. Once this pops up, go ahead and click on Base Plate. Many of you may be wondering how I got Toolbox and Explorer. All you want to do is go to View, click on Explorer toolbox and basically that's it go to plugins and as you can see there's load character if you don't have load character go down to toolbox under the lock key click models and go to plugins you can look up load character oh my gosh i can't even type load character and it's right there once you download that just click on it and then search up your name make sure spawn at origin is checked off and click spawn r15 Once your character loads, go under workspace and your model will be right there. If you would like to use an accessory or anything like that, go under toolbox, make sure you have models clicked, and just search up whatever you want. I'm going to put ice cream. If you would like to use anything, just drag it onto your base plate, just keep dragging. And there you go. Drag your model to your accessory and let go. Both your model and your accessories are combined together. To be able to export, right click scroll down until you see export selection click on that and then save it to wherever you want and name it whatever you want i'm just gonna name it animated Ooh no animated intro tutorial and just put it wherever you want uh if you have like windows or anything like that you could save it to your roblox file i'm just gonna save it to my downloads once that's saved, you like to download Blender 2.79b. If you do not have Blender 2.79b downloaded, then I'll leave that in the description below. Once you click the link in the description, this will pop up. Scroll down until you see Blender 2.79b old. Click on it. A bunch of links will pop up. Find a link with your computer name and the word zip on it. And then everything will download, and then there you go. Okay, so once you open up Blender 2.79, just click anywhere, and then you will have a block right here. Just click X on your keyboard and then just click delete. Go up here, click on Blender Render and change it to Cycles Render. Now, top left, click on File, Import. You would like to import your model and make sure it's OBJ, not MTL. Once it loads, hold down Shift and F and then to move is WASD. To go faster, hold down Shift. To stop, just click anywhere. As you can see, our model does not have color to it. To change that, go down to the snowball icon next to object mode, click on it, and press material. Now, it has color to it. Under the camera icon, scroll down to resolution, bring it to 50% to 100. Scroll down, change PNG to AVI GPEG. Now go to the world icon, click on ambient occlusion. Now you would like to change the background, so click on color, make it brighter, and then pick a color. I'm going to pick probably like a purple. Once you press render, you will see the background. Next step is the lamp. To move the lamp, there are icons right here where you can move objects. This icon is to move it side to side and up and down. This one is to turn, and this one is to make bigger. I don't really recommend that one because it doesn't really have a use to what we're doing. To uh, redo something, just do Control Z. I'm actually going to move the lamp so it could be facing my, my character. Before we turn the lamp, I'm going to change the lamp to sun. To change it to sun, right click on your lamp, go to the lamp icon, and then press sun. To rotate, just use the rotating tool and then rotate it to where your character is. It's really hard to rotate. 
I'm going to place it on the neck part right there. And if you press render, that's how it looks. It looks a little bit bright. Oh, this is for the tone. My mistake, everyone. Um, Under lamp, this is for the tone of the character. See how pink it looks? That's the tone. And under the world lamp, to change the color, just press press on the world icon scroll down to color and then you can change the background from there and then just go back to material so i want to move the arm so i'm going to right click and then hold shift and then right click on the hand and i'm just going to rotate like that make sure it's aligned And then I'm going to right click on the ice cream cone, bring it up, make sure it's in the hand. And I'm going to turn it a bit. Then bring it down. Okay, that's that. And now I'm going to do the next hand. Right click, right click, turn tool. Okay, and that is my pose. I'm just going to start with my head probably looking the other way like this. So what you want to do now is you want to start it. I'm actually going to start with the poses first. So at the bottom, you see this big grid right here. Next to no sync, press the red button. I'm now going to just move my head where I want to be moved like that way. As you can see, a yellow line is there. That's your first pose. I'm going to move it a little bit over here for the next pose. I'm just going to look this way now. And then for this one, I'm just going to look straight. And then for this one, I'm just going to look at my head like that. Upper. Like that. Yeah, and if you play it back, it will look like this. And there's that. Now we're going to go in camera. Click view, and then camera. Shift and F, and then WASD. Green line is at the beginning. Right click on your camera. Now we're just going to move a little bit, so there's a line there. Just going to add it right there. And then we're going to move here. As you can see, there's a transition. And I'm just going to like keep zooming in, sort of. And then I'm just going to go like that. So if we look back, that's that. I'm actually going to stop it right here. So to make it shorter, as you can see, the timeline is really big. There's a start and an end. For the end, I'm going to put it at 79. No, wait, I'm going to put it at probably... I'll put it to 100. I'm going to stop it at 100 because I'm going to have to put a title there. So let's see. Oh, I have an idea. I'm actually going to move the head. That way. So if I. I love that. Okay. So if you're wondering how to render, let me just see how it looks. Okay, it's very bright. Um. Like I said before, this icon right here, this one right here, it changes the tone of the character. See how pink the character is? If Because if you change it to like dark, it doesn't really show anything. See how bright it gets? 
So I recommend it not to be really bright. I'm actually going to leave it like that. To be able to get out of camera, press view and then camera. I'm actually going to move the lamp a little bit. Like right there. Is that good? That's really, really bright. You could change it from here. So we're pouring 96. Let's try that. Before we render, we would like to save it to a file. Go to the camera icon, scroll down to output, and then pick a file where you would like to put it. I'm going to put it to my downloads and I'm going to name it example. I don't know why it's in caps, but it's alright. Animation. That's what I'm going to name it and accept. So that's where it's going to be. And now to render, on the top left, there'll be a button called render. Click on it and click on render animation. Thank <laughs> you.